I mean, you know, after all, look at uh, uh, the person that came before him that they wanted to be president. What was his name? Uh, Bush? No, the president, the, the, the person that many people, particularly the white supremacists, were saying they wanted to be a president, and that president was going to be black. But it came before President Obama. Oh, Colin Powell. There you go. Now watch that pattern. I said at that time, I said it on air many times, I said this is a setup. Anytime the white supremacists start pushing some black person out front, and the black person doesn't even want to be pushed out front, uh, uh, Mr. Colin Powell was saying, well, look, I've already served my time. And uh, what is this? People talking about me being president? You know, I, I could probably be president, but I'm not hankering for it. I'm not knocking myself out to be president. I mean, well, who have I told that to? Now, this is the picture that I got. But they kept pushing him and pushing him, so they say, well, take something. I mean, if you don't want to be president, well, okay, Secretary of State. And the first thing they did was put something right in front of him. Here again, mm -hmm. what you've been told. Say, now, hey, as Secretary of State, we got a hot potato here in the Middle East. Here we go again, Middle East, Middle East, Middle East, Middle East, Middle East, Middle East, Middle East. Okay? And they put it on his desk, and they say, oh, weapons of mass destruction in the Middle East. Ooh. Got to act right now. So you know how that turned out. Mm, oh, absolutely. And not according to my words, according to the words of the people who say that, hey, this is the way it all turned out. But they say, hey, the dark-skinned people of this planet have proven how dumb they are. So we can recycle the same thing on them all the time. All we have to do is wait 30 days. And just run the same old scenario right past them again. You know, after all, they're helpless anyhow. They can't do nothing about it. The few of them who can figure it out, all they can do is, you know, come on the air uh, and, you know, and woof, woof, woof about it. They ain't going to whip us, you know. I mean, they, you know, they can't, they don't even know how they're going to eat tomorrow unless we feed them. So we can just keep doing this because that's what we do. That's how we run the world. That's how we want to run the world. This is life to us. And why do we do it? Because that's what we have decided to do. We have decided to all be Nero and Tiberius and Julius Caesars and Alexander the Great and keep that going forever. Because that's our philosophy of life. That's the philosophy of life of the white supremacist system. That's how we roll. <laughs> that's how we roll yeah. this is our value system we don't have another value system and we have looked at all other value systems like the idea of justice and peace and all like that and we really don't want that we get bored with that we can't even stand that so we've gotten in the habit of mistreating people based on color and all we do is sit around and try to dream up newer and better ways of entertaining ourselves by mistreating people based on color, because that's all the system of white supremacy is.